Hello beautiful Pisces. Oh, this is spiritual message day and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm going to invite you, there's a playlist below. If After you're done listening to the videos of today, if you want to watch another one, leave a little heart emoji in the comment section of that old video I'm asking you to help the channel grow and uh, to show support without having to spend anything. And yes, it does require some of your time, however, but I appreciate everything that you do. I will be doing a little something, and I will announce that either uh, uh, tomorrow or Monday. Um, so just look out in the community tab. There'll be something there. If not, a video. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so don't hesitate. Your journey path begins now, today. I want to get right into this reading because their energy is like right there. It's right there. I'm actually going to use my Kanaka spray. I'm gonna. This is going to bring in ancestors. I actually took out my ancestor deck knowing today is a big day. Now if you needed a boost to know whether you need to go on your journey, today is the day. This is the day you plant your seeds. This is the day, this is the first step into the next part of your life, okay? So, let's see her Pi Pisces. The cards that came out is the Journey and Soul Retriever. Right away, I felt uh, what came through is it's 2949, the big leap. Okay? It's like a, a 29, 49, 20. Like you just, you just jumped a whole bunch of steps. Okay? That's what I feel inside. Like you are so in it, even if you don't realize it. You have made leaps and bounds. You have gone step and step and step further than the rest. Okay? That's one. The other part that came in is the journey is definitely start. Okay? Begin. You're on your journey now. Soul retrieval is like you are so in connection with yourself now than you've ever been um, probably since childhood. Okay? So when we first arrived here and still had kind of like that stardust attached to us of you know the being that 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 pure pureness of energy and soul when we first came in okay this is at this point you're reconnecting to that is what i feel so i'm going to read what says in the book very very important touched me to no end so i need to share that with you um it says the journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries of your life as you know it it's not a holiday it's a call to be hermit-like, not hermit, but hermit-like, and go on a pilgrimage into the unknown. There are no maps to the territory you will be exploring. No marked paths or road signs. There you go, Pisces. The time to embark on a great journey is here. Don't linger in the port where distant shores, when distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you will be led true, even when you're not sure of where you are going. It is the departure that's most important. Don't miss the boat, because a great opportunity could be lost. And another ship may not arrive for a long time. Okay, so they're telling you now. Now, 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 now. Okay, Pisces? Do it now. <laughs> Again, it's almost bringing in confirmation that you've been looking for, maybe that you've been asking for. This is it. Okay, soul retrieval. It's a practice that helps you recover a part of yourself, your energy, your enthusiasm, and your innocence that you have lost. At first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover from our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. Later, we learn to journey to recover our original nature, that self that never left the Garden of Eden, who still speaks to the rivers, to the trees, and to God. When we return to Eden, we are whole again. Okay. You are no longer fragmented. 
you are one with creation. You have healed the cause of the pain you feel, so do you not need to dwell on it any longer? Really, it's true. If you're still hovering over an old wound, find a new flight path. Don't be distracted by the little stuff you've already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden. Okay, find your paradise, find your happy place. Oh, wow, uh, a lot of energy coming in. Uh, usually no, because I feel super dizzy always when that happens. Um, yeah, you got some, you got some major energy coming in to like, I feel like, you know, it's going to sound funny, but I feel like you're barking. Like, you know, when you have, um, you get startled, you're in a trance or a daze and something startles you. Like you're walking around and there's this dog on a chain that comes out and barks at you and makes you realize that there's a surrounding around you, okay? This is what they're showing me. So I feel like they're coming in like that. And they're coming in like that for me. So it's kind of... <sighs> Whew, a lot. It is a lot. Okay, so I will be using the Tarot de Marseille. It's my ancestors deck in the extended. So please make sure if you're not subscribed to subscribe. There you go. There you go. Alright. So I'm going to use the good to well. Tomorrow I do believe I will be doing the new moon in Taurus. Yes, in Taurus. And it's also a solar eclipse coming in. Whoa. Okay. So, we're going to be looking at that tomorrow and then doing the weekly. Um, so, another reason to come back, another reason to subscribe, Pisces. Alright. Deep breath. Ooh. Spirit, the spiritual message for today, the Ace of Pentacles. Start going, start moving. Seven of Air, Five of Earth, Ten of Earth. Okay. Okay, so I feel that you've been protecting yourself or protecting your energy here, Spirit is saying. Okay. It says, if it looks like a bird, walks like a bird, it is a bird. But in this case, you're not. You're sitting there acting like a bird, but you're not a bird. And if you were a bird, you're not actually trying to take flight. So there's something here about you almost being in hiding and protecting yourself from this energy. You're standing still. You're being still. You're standing put. I. That's what I feel. And in this, I feel that daze that I was talking about. That idea of you not really moving. You're like in a trance. You're comfortably, you know when you're in the moon, you know, have you ever heard that? Stop being in the moon. You are fixated. You are fixating on a point and you're just comfortable there. Doesn't that disturb you when somebody does that? They walk in your field of vision and they, they, they get that, that comfortable spot that you were just like looking but not looking at. So this is it, okay? This is what you're doing. You're sitting comfortably with the geese and the and the doves and, and you've got, you know, your set of wings and your little mask with the nose and you're going, I'm just a bird here, you know, don't mind me. Um, and you're wandering. You see this five of earth, same thing, okay? In isolation, kind of there, but still kind of in hiding. You're not really showing yourself as much as you should. And there's riches waiting for you. You have the Ten of Earth. You have so much available to, to you, but she's actually sitting there, not really... Um, it's there, but she's not, not really claiming it. So this is what this is right here in the spiritual message. You have to begin. You have to plant the seed in order to begin your journey. You really have to. Okay? You can't just sit around and wait for things to happen or be 
or try to act like the wallpaper, you know, blending into the wallpaper, as they say. Be like that wallflower that isn't, okay? I feel that very strongly. They want you to take action. In First of all, Pisces, this journey that you're on, it's a limited time only, at least for this one, okay? You're here for a time, and then you go. Whatever that time may be, short or long, which is all short to me. Because even if you make a hundred, it's still short, okay? In the space of time, as we perceive it in human terms. The whole point of it is not really the time you spend here. It's how you spend your time here. Alright. So let's take the second row here. Mm. Right. Feathers, feathers, feathers is all I'm seeing here. And again, messenger of earth. Messenger is not the page. The page is, the messenger is the knight. And what's happening with the messenger, though, is it's getting stuck in the details of things. They really want you to get creative, Pisces, okay? They want you to, to tap into your colors, to your root energy, to your grounded energy. The Empress is a lot of, like, planting, a lot of fertile ground that you're stepping on, that you can plant this on, okay? There's no reason for you to be not doing when you have everything you need to be doing. Instead, I feel with this Ten of Air, which is the Ten of Swords, instead of moving on, I feel that you're just testing to see how things... Again, I feel a Seven of of Earth here, the Seven of Pentacles, even though it's the Ten of Air, because I feel like you're blowing these feathers up, testing things to see how they'll fly, if they'll fly. Um, what do I need to get wind speed so that I can fly? Um, I, I feel that you're waiting to take off, but you're testing all of this, but you're doing so many things here without actually getting any results, which is you moving. You're getting stuck into details of things, and you're, I feel like you're letting, not letting things slip away, okay? Everything has a cycle, and you have a choice. You have a choice. You don't need to be going after things. You can stay still. You can do whatever you want. This is your ride. This is your path. It's your journey. But in order to get something done, you have to stop it being in a testing mode. You have to stop being in the phased out mode. You need to start move. You need to plant. You need to take action. Okay. It's like the honey-do list that never gets done. <laughs> you have the intent. You know what needs to be done. You know what you want to get done. But are you actually putting any of the steps forward to try and get it done? And that's what... Um, the big messages as soon as you plant it and it doesn't require that much that much it's as easy as planting the seed that's it okay giving a little water a little bit of sun making sure it's cared for and watching it grow that's it okay with the seven of pentacles you had planted a whole different garden you had already seen what worked what didn't work you've done all of the theoretical work now it's time to put it into practice. That's that's what I feel here. This this is the theoretical, like, oh, it flies up and then it comes down. Oh, it flies up and then it comes down. Okay, so you know you're going to fly up and then come down. Now you need to invoke the action. What's going to keep you up? 
and what's going to bring you down. Okay, move to the next part. Three of Earth. This is spiritual message. Again, Three of Earth is my guidance from your team, your guides, your angels, your ancestors, whoever you uh, have um, communications with. Something wanted to flip over here, it didn't. Nine of Water. King of Air. Here he is. King. The King himself is right here. The King of Communications. Okay. So what I feel from this, I'll, I'll start with this one. What I feel from this is that you have blatant communications being given to you. Well, let's widen this out a little bit so you can see the cards. This King is coming through to let you know to move your butt. He's coming in going, you should be moving, should be moving, you have everything you need, okay? Because he's master energy. He's he's trying to cut the truth of the matter and it's not you're not listening, okay? So that's what I'm, I feel from there. You have everything you need, you have help from spirits, you have your own energy, the king of water, mastering what you need to do and how you need to do it, okay? Um, this is somebody who's wise, who is calm, even when the waters get, you know, all, you know, swirly and stuff. You have that two of pentacles. You have that perspective, the hangman energy. You have all of that. You have the moon going deep. You have the high priestess, the intuition. You have everything you need to move forward. You have all of these wonderful tools to let you know, don't plant there, plant there. You and you have everything guiding you in the right direction, yet you're being held. So they're saying you have everything and um, within you to want it. You have the Nine of Water, the Nine of Cups, okay? You want this really badly. You have wishes, and you, are, you feel blessed for what you already have. But in order to have that wish fulfillment, you need to drive it home, okay? When, if you want your heart's desire, you have to do the things required to get them. You can't just stand in front of them and wish, okay? As much as I know a lot of people say manifestations. Yes, you do, but what what are you doing to help it along, okay? What are you doing to, um, is it concretize? It's not even a word, but make it into a concrete thing, okay? It's not just about saying the words, it's about putting the action with the words as well. Because that's just wishing from the mind. You have to vibrate in that energy. Vibrating in that energy requires a vibration, an action. So that's the way it works. Okay? There you go. The journey, soul retrieval, ace of pentacles. So... Um, let me see here. What else do I see here, Pisces, before I button this up and then we do the second part? Mmm. I don't know. First of all, I see a lot of blue. Don't be in your mind too much about it. Don't be in your mind to the point where you start talking yourself out of it. That's one. Don't be too uh, grounded in the fact that you stay put. In other words, using the air and the ground to weigh you down. You know, your mind is fuzzy and your feet are, are locked into the ground. You're forgetting the movement that's required to get to where you need to be going. So there's, again, a lot of grounding and a lot of air coming in. And it's almost like it's shrouding everything that you've done. It's normal, they're saying it's normal that as you do the work, you're kind of, it's not that you forget the work, but you do the work and it's like, it's done. I, I figured it out, I've done it, and you put it aside. And you go to the next thing and the next thing. Now they're saying don't forget to once in a while look back and see all the stuff that you've gained. Because that's the stuff that helps you move forward. That's the stuff that gives you the um, indication and the knowledge and the wisdom to know that it's okay to move forward. Okay? 
All right, Pisces. I think this is it for this one. I'm going to come back and take the Ancestors card, Nagea Oracle, and we're going to we're going to we're going to nip this in the butt. This is going to be your your big pow spiritual message for um <laughs> to finish off this week. Um you are very much on your way. That much I know. You are very much on your way. This stuff is just stuff um this is like a reminder. I, I feel like it is a raw, raw session to remind you that you you are definitely on your way. You are on your path. Don't let anything stop you, okay? That's a big thing. That's a big message. Don't let anything stop you. You have no reason to stop now. Every reason to take a big bite out of life and get what you want. I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and blessings. Please make sure to like, subscribe, uh, watch another video in the... Um, in the comment section below, put a little heart emoji after you've watched the older video. Thank you so much. I'm going to let you go now and uh, I'm going to go cleanse my energy and we'll come back later for you Pisces. Take care.